Hey kids, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm just going to do a reading for the 1111 portal of today. Let's uh, say a quick blessing and we'll see what those energies are like out there. All right. Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that you direct our hands, our hearts, our words, and our minds to work your will in our lives each day. And we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All righty, let's see here. I have the Three of Cups in the reverse. No. Okay. Well, hold on. Let's just get a couple more cards out because there are quite a, there's a mm, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Emperor. Nailed it. And I've got the Fool that comes out on its side. Slinx. So the three of cups in the reverse, it can be a couple of different things. It honestly, it, it represents a third party situation in most um, modern day tarot readers minds. Um, it can also be a lack of reconciliation. It can be somebody who um, they can be both. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, this can be loss of a home, this can be loss of stability, loss of wealth in some way. I have that Emperor card that comes out here, right? Smack a dab on top of it all, um, which is the card of Aries, but it's also the card of Divine Masculine. It's a card of um, mentorship. It's a card of taking ownership for situations. It's a card of um, responsibility. And um, right in the mid, the very center of it all, I have the fool on its side, which is someone who's contemplating a new beginning in their life in some way. So, I have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Ace of Swords in the reverse can be a message that... I feel like this message can't be sent in some way. It can't be sent or it can't be received in some way. And it also feels like someone who's struggling to tell the truth. And I have the lovers in the reverse. This can be someone who feels like they chose poorly in a love scenario or situation. There's a lot of information here and I cannot wait to clarify. I have the Ace of Cups that comes out here. Um, oh, I see. So we're dealing actually, we're actually dealing with a culmination of energies here. This is, I see what's happened. Hold on. Let me get a couple more out and then we'll get down to clarifying and then we'll explain it. All right. I've got the Ten of Cups on its side. I got the Queen of Swords in the reverse and I got the um, Knight of Cups in the reverse and there we go. We got the Hierophant in the reverse. That one I'm going to put back in, but it was the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, which is significant. And the Three of Swords in the reverse. This is really painting quite the picture. I um, And I have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Chariot in the reverse. There it is. Hierophant in the reverse, or excuse me, Hermit in the reverse, and the um, Page of Swords. Okay. Okay, that'll do it. All right. So basically the situation here is I have somebody who um, they may have engaged themselves in a third party situation. And um, there's this understanding now that this person has um, made the choices that they've made. And there is a loss that someone has suffered because of this. Um, it ended a major commitment in someone's life and it propelled someone into a state of singleness um, faster than they were expecting. I have the hermit in the reverse, which is someone who didn't plan ahead and they did not they did not heed the advice they were given early on in this scenario and that will be of significance to someone it's it's this energy of this this emperor okay now i have the ten of cups on its side and with the ten of cups on its side and this hierophant in the reverse and the three of cups in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse and the knight of cups in the reverse you can hear where i'm headed with this and the three of swords in the reverse, this person has just experienced an ending in a major commitment that they knew was going to happen. 
and they're having trouble admitting the truth about it which is that ace of swords in the reverse and with the chariot in the reverse this is someone who feels like they're quite stuck now and they're not sure what's going to happen next with the queen of swords in the reverse yes this person has now had a falling out with someone. It goes right on top of that lovers in the reverse um, where whoever they are, I'm going to say having to separate from here or having this separation from here, whatever, because there's definitely like something that's come between someone because we have this energy of someone who's newly single and not expecting it. And I have, um, the Ten of Cups on its side can indicate a marriage that is failing. It is specific to marriage is the Ten of Cups. It can also indicate um, with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse too, this can be someone who's had to leave a home situation suddenly. Um, it may have actually happened um, like at the end of July towards like middle end of July is maybe when this situation really started to fall apart. The three of swords in the reverse, um, it was, it was the three of swords is the breakup card, right? Um, and it feels like it was something that was kind of not expected, but there was there was always a feeling in the back of this person's mind with the knight of cups in the reverse and that they've had to remove themselves from a love situation this is very much love focused sometimes it can be career sometimes it can be other things but this feels like very specific to part of this collective unkind words have been spoken here with this queen of swords in the reverse this is someone who's regretting things that they've said and someone who is um, struggling to tell the truth with that Ace of Swords in the reverse. <sighs> Heavy stuff. You know what? I was all in a good mood and I was like, oh, can't wait to record for um, the 1111 portal. That's going to be so much fun. And then this feeling of heaviness kind of came over me, I have to be honest, where I was like, oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, so I don't know who we're reading for specifically here, but you may be going through something that is rather challenging for you right now, um, or you're picking up the pieces from it. I'm going to, um, clarify, clarify a little further with this, uh, tarot of, um, Wonderland here. Um, hmm. This is somebody who feels like, honestly, they feel kind of invigorated by this change at this point, but they're still dealing with a lot of people's drama because I have the Knight of Wands here as the card of Sagittarius, and I have the Seven of Wands here, which is somebody who's having to um, feel a lot of combative energy around them. It feels like they could be having constant dramas with um, this situation in their lives. And I've got the Nine of Pentacles out again, and I've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse again. I'm going to play this game again, probably. Um, I've got the Nine of Pentacles out in the upright position now, though. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is the minor arcana of the Empress. So we have the M, and it goes right on top of that Emperor right there. Um, this can be... This can be a few different things. This can be someone who all of a sudden embraces that independence. Um, you remember how I was saying this person was like suddenly thrown into being single in some way. And it, it that's very, it was tumultuous at best, right? Um, but with this nine of pentacles now coming out in the upright position, this is someone who's learning to embrace a new beginning, which is what this fool energy is. Mm, oh, I'm so excited for whoever this is, but what this Knight of Cups in the reverse has to be reiterated though, because it's come out here twice now. Um, that is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy in case it matters at all to you, but it really is someone who is retracting themselves from love commitments, love partnerships. It, it goes with this Hierophant energy over here. Excuse me. I keep calling it the Hierophant. That guy's over here. This Hermit energy in the reverse where we have someone who is saying, you know what? I have let certain things go in my life and I have let um, my communication with myself go for a long time. This is somebody who's wanting to pull back their love energy towards themselves so they can kind of focus on who they really feel like they are, really what they want to have in their life and somebody who's learning to reconnect to a higher power in some way, which is the most 
beneficial time anyone could have in their lives. This person may have been like kind of kicking and screaming into this um, period of isolation. Maybe they had never learned to be alone or live on their own in some way. And now all of a sudden they're being given this opportunity where they're reinvesting in themselves and reinvesting in their relationship with whoever that is for them, whether it's God or Christ or the universe or source or the force, whatever you want to call it. This is somebody who's learning to be in tune um, with themselves again. Ah, uh, that's so, I don't even know. I've got the Queen of Swords that comes out on top of the Queen of Swords. I have the Hermit again that we were just talking about with the Hermit here. I have the Lover's card out again, and now I have the Two of Swords on its side. It's just an awful lot of repeat cards. In fact, every single card that's come out with this second deck is already a repeat energy. When I get repeated energies as a reader, it means um, a couple of different things. It means that this is very significant energy to you um, and your story, if this is your story. It also means that you have a very, very strong energy, that you are somebody, if this is your reading, you are someone who is able to... Um, create these synchronicities um, from your, I just saw 11, 11 on the timer too. You're able to create these synchronicities in your life um, because you're just that gifted. You are that wise and you are that strong and you can create any kind of path you want in your life. Um, we have the two of swords over here, which is someone who is now all of a sudden at um, the base of a divergent pathway, right? Do you want to go left or do you want to go right? Um, the two of swords is someone who's trying to make a decision. Do I stay? Do I go? Am I in? Am I out? It feels like this decision was made for this person, but they're just now starting to come to the realization that this choice, whatever has recently happened, whatever has unfolded here, and I don't see the tower card here yet, but it feels like something that was, in, you know, during maybe Libra season, maybe started in Cancer season, something like that. Um, whatever this was, it felt like this person they felt like their life was falling apart in some way, but now they're starting to come to the realization that, oh no, it's not that my life has fallen apart. It's that now I have this new opportunity to be more authentic to myself. And that's where we have this two of swords come in where this person is saying all of a sudden, well, what does that look like? What, what is that going to be for me? And with this lover's card out again, on top of this lover's card, right? I've got it here. I've got it here. Um, that's the card of Gemini. But this is someone who recognizes that the choices that they make in love right now are going to define how they spend their time for X number amount of days, weeks, months, years, or forevers, right? And this is someone who I don't want, well, let me just, let's continue on. I have the five of wands. That's the analysis paralysis card. That for me as a reader, that's someone who is making mental lists, pros and cons lists. And they were really on the fence about this for a long time. This person, um, and it comes over here with this 10 of cups. This person was used to their stability. This person was used to being, um, I, if not codependent, not independent, that, that this person was not used to being on their own. And so with that, there have come up a lot of um, issues with just the day-to-day -day routine. And in addition to that, um, how this person spends their time with themselves. They're not used to having that kind of time to themselves. And so it's been kind of discordant for them in some way, um, or not so much discordant as just something that they've struggled to get used to a little bit. Now I have the King of Pentacles on its side. This person's very focused on their finances. That's Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. But I have this Eight of Cups that comes out on top of the lovers right here. This person is um, 
you know, I was saying that they've kind of retracted themselves like back into themselves in kind of a state of self isolation, um, not just because of necessity, but because um, of reevaluating what they want to attract into their life in the future, because right now they are feeling like their choices in the past have not been so wise. Um, so that's okay. Um, but there is um, this energy of someone who's really trying to focus on reamassing the wealth that they are that they have lost. And really keeping to themselves. And there's a little bit of um, a negative energy um, coming off of them when it comes to sharing themselves with other people right now. Let's just say that. I've got the King of Cups, that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. That is someone who um, has a lot of emotions right now. They could um, a couple of things. Um, they could be changing their perspective soon about wanting to share themselves with another person. But right now, there's with the King of Cups, they're not great communicators. They have all the feelings, right? All those that that wellspring of emotion under there, but they keep their cards real close to their chest. You see that? Um, this is such a great depiction. Um, this is the Tarot of Wonderland by Barbara Moore. And this person, um, they're not sure that they're ready. They're not sure yet. There's, there's, they're not sure they want to share themselves with someone else or that they want to even talk to anybody else. All right. Well, that's fine. Who that's no. Okay. Um, let me get another deck here and clarify just a little bit further. I'm just going to use this traditional rider weight because I got the King of Pentacles out there on the bottom of the deck. This is someone who's still wrapping up some feelings of guilt and remorse. Um, this person, um, well, actually that's not what the whole story this person is starting to recognize why they made the choices that they made you see with the five of cups this, the five of cups the figure the person's always quite focused on that three of cups which is that first card that we had out here where i said there could have been a third party situation here that led to some sort of downfall this can indicate um feelings of guilt with the five of cups or regret specifically but when we have this in the reverse it feels like this person is starting to say you know i don't think like, I'm seeing why my behaviors are the way that they are. I'm seeing why I responded in that way to that scenario. I, I'm seeing. This person is starting to um, carry less guilt and blame. I've got the death in the reverse. Um, that's the card of Scorpio. Um, this can be an energy of still processing things. There's... When death is in the reverse, it can be things coming back around. It can be um, resurrection. But it can also be someone who's struggling to process an ending. I have the two of cups and the two of wands. This is someone... Okay, that's what it is. That's actually the situation. I feel like we have um, a resurrection. Remember how I was saying that Three of Cups could um, be two different things where it can be um, a third party situation or it can also be reconciliation. And I said it's possible it could be both for some people. With the death in the reverse, and this feels like something that will happen within the next couple of weeks, it feels like we could have someone um, reacquainted with an, somebody else. Um, and it was kind of a timing issue with that wheel of fortune that's the card of sagittarius which is the season we're coming into um with the page of pentacles in the reverse it would be an unexpected um kind of an unexpected rec um reconvening an unexpected meeting um running into this person with this two of cups it's it, two of cups can be a new love partnership coming towards a person as with especially paired with this um two of wands you got two twos right next to each other right um but this is someone who wants to show someone else that they have changed they want to show somebody else that they have grown in some way 
and that they're ready for a partnership in some way. This is someone who wants to show someone that they're quite healthy and well balanced. And this is what I always say with the Two of Cups and with the Ace of Cups. Did we have the Ace of Cups come out? Yes, we did. Um, Ace of Cups, and specific to this Chocoli deck, this is a great representation of the Ace of Cups as well. This is someone who's ready to share themselves with another person. They're ready to share and give of themselves with the Ace of Cups. And with the Two of Cups coming out here as well, two people who are ready to share with one another, it's a partnership. It's a positive partnership that's well balanced. No one here is going to be thirsty, right? Um, this is unexpected though. And it comes after a time of separation. You've been separated from this person. I didn't even see this Four of Swords sticking out over here. Um, this Two of Wands, though, I always think that is a fairly lusty card. It can be about seeking partnership in way, some way. It can be about um, sexual partnership. But it's someone who says, you know, I have a lot to offer to another person. And I feel like I'm ready to show someone how much I've grown, how much, um, you know, that sort of thing. Let's see. Nine of Swords. I honestly, I feel like whoever this Emperor energy is that's kind of pulling all of this into their scenario, their situation, um, they're kind of this King of Cups energy, Knight of Cups in the reverse energy. Um, that It feels like they really aren't through all of the work. It feels like this person is still kind of picking up pieces from things that have fallen apart. There's an awful lot of anxiety and stress and worry. Um, this person may, I, I don't know if you are the emperor or if this person's entering your sphere of energy in some way, but this person may need to express some of this anxiety they've been feeling, some of the things they've been through in the recent past. This person isn't fully healed yet is my point. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Four of Cups in the reverse. This person may be a little bit um, self-centered at this time. This person may be, and like this person's been through some things and they aren't quite through it all yet. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who is not ready to be relied upon. And so this person may just need a kind ear Although I feel like this person is hoping for some kind of reconciliation here. That four of cups in the reverse is a very similar energy to the hermit in the reverse, where we have someone who's kind of fighting that spiritual isolation a little bit, and they could be reverting to some old habits of um, needing comfort and seeking comfort for their needs um, in ways that are not fully healed and matured. There we go. I've got the Knight of Cups out again. That's three times from three different decks. This person says, no, I feel like I am ready. I feel like I'm ready to be done with it. I feel like I'm ready to be over it. But I have my misgivings. I have the Six of Cups and the Five of Wands again. This person, here's what it is. This person feels like they need to know for sure before they're going to sign off on anything. And it's a very, it's a heavy masculine energy. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it doesn't have to be a male gender, but it's a heavy masculine energy for sure. Um, this person has been through a lot. I was hearing like jaded earlier, but it's, it's, they don't want to be, but deep down inside, there's somebody who's like, well, I'll believe it when I see it until then I'll pretend my way through it. Almost like, a. I don't really believe in love anymore, but I'll pretend like I do because I'm supposed to sort of thing. That Six of Cups has come out there. I don't know. Did we have that out here earlier? I don't remember. <laughs> so many. Um, but that's that soulmate energy. It's like a past life love, something like that. Um, this person has been on the fence about 
opening themselves up again. And they maybe that's it. Maybe they don't feel worthy in some way, although they're trying to convince whoever they're wanting to reconcile with or whoever's coming back towards them, whether that's you or whether you're them, I don't know. Um, they're wanting to convince people that they are ready. But deep down inside, there's an awful lot of energy. There's a, an awful lot of anxiety and um, like still fresh wounding in some way. If not fresh wounding, it's just deep. Mm. How are we going to fix all this situation? How is this going to wrap up nice and pretty? Let's find out. Because there's that Wheel of Fortune, again, energy of Sagittarius. And I got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Oh, and the King of Cups again. What's this one flipped over? I got the star on its side and we got the Page of Wands. I still got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And I got the King of Pentacles again and the Eight of Swords again. <sighs> Thank you. All right. This person would be much happier if the person they want to reconcile with um, would just reach out to them and say it first then they would know for sure. And if they knew for sure, they would be an open book. They would be this king of cups, ready to offer any amount of love, kindness, support, all of the things, all the butterflies, they would just uh, melt. But because they have been hurt, because they have been through this thing, whatever this is with this queen of swords in the reverse, where there was just an awful lot of battles and there was just a prolonged amount of discomfort that has caused all this anxiety, because all that has happened, they feel like they need to wait for a sign in order to send any kind of message or to tell any kind of truth here. But with that wheel of fortune out, that is again, the card of Sagittarius. What do I keep saying about Sagittarius season? It feels like Christmas comes early. It feels like what happens in Sagittarius season is we have an unblocking of roads is what it feels like and it's because whoever I'm reading for here this is someone who has pushed a lot of their energy into forward momentum in a certain direction for a certain amount of time and this feels like the direction this person's going with this star card energy that's the card of Aquarius but it's somebody who's questioning their entire life path right now so go easy on this person they are really up in their head about a lot of things that's very clear with that five of wands out there twice um but this person feels like if they send any kind of message, it could be a very fragile situation. This, this could be inflammatory. It could be instigatory. And so they just would rather not say anything, keep focusing on work, keep putting their nose down um, to the grindstone, whatever it is they have to do, just kind of keep on day to day to day to day. Meanwhile, with this hanged man on its side, which is the card of Pisces, this is somebody who would rather that somebody else just do it for them. Who, okay, if you're not this emperor energy, this king of cups, Knight of Cups scenario, because I, I have this Eight of Swords out here, which tells me there's been blocked communication between whoever this emperor wants to reconcile with or whoever, right? Situation. You got the Six of Cups out again in the reverse. This person's very much afraid that you won't accept them back into their lives or vice versa. With the Six of Cups out there, that's that's twice or maybe three times. I don't even know. I don't want to look through all these. Um, but um, that's somebody... I don't know where it is. Um, I know it's in there, I think, three times. So that's important. There's an energy of understanding that... These two feel like they've belonged together before or they've experienced some kind of love together before. However, there's this feeling that this emperor energy feels like they've already screwed it up too much. Screwed it up too much. And I have to be honest, whoever is on the other end of this, they may feel like that's true. have the high priestess out in the reverse and the strength card on its side high priestess is um pisces again um strength is leo if that matters to you but um i feel like you have had the wool pulled over your eyes by this person before that's such i know that's an old timey say i'm trying to think of a way to say it that makes more sense um you feel like this person has manipulated you before in some way um, if you are on the other end of this emperor and 
whoever's on the other side of that feels like they kind of have to fight the urge to talk to this person, fight the urge to reach out to this person or be strong in some way to avoid this person manipulating them. Man, this is very complex. This is a really complex reading again. Um, and there's a lot of repeat cards in here and there's a lot of layers here and it's a big old mess too. It's like, and I don't even want to dig through here to find all the repeats in here because it's like, it's too deep and it's almost like nobody cares. It is what it is. It's a big old mess and it makes all of the sense in the world. But at the same time, what a big old mess we got here. So, you know, communication is key and I feel it solves so many issues. Whoever this reading is for, I wish that one of you would just reach out and talk to the other because this emperor empress energy and that nine of pentacles that came out there twice that's the minor arcana of the empress and we've got the emperor out here those emperor empress energies have been so heavy they have infiltrated every reading i have done for at least what like a month i don't know any of you who watch these readings like i think it's been like a month and it seems like if if these folks are presenting as emperor empress energies then we got to look above the day-to-day three-dimensional little dramas here and the pride the pridefulness and the ego and somebody's gonna have to extend an olive branch in this situation it's just there's a lot of fear-based emotions we got that strength card out there and this hanged man energy and it's just like a lot of people who are processing a lot is what i figure um this month um So on one hand, I have the King of Swords that was in the reverse, the King of Wands underneath that, and the Eight of um, Swords, or excuse me, Eight of Wands, which is that fast-moving direct communication. We had that out a minute ago. And there's the Nine of Swords again, um, which is someone who feels imprisoned by their inability to communicate. And they're not sure what they want to say yet. They know what they want, ultimately, um, but they don't know what they want to say. And then I have this page of wands, and then I have that hierophant card, and the king of cups out there, and the um, all these are repeats. And there we have the empress, um, the hangman, and then I have the strength card. And there was the king of cups, and now we've got the empress. Um, this person's going to get it together. This person's going to get it together. They're going to send the message that they want to send. Um, with that hierophant card, this is a different kind of commitment for this person. There's somebody who decides that love is different than they ever thought it was before. They're still kind of trying to wrap their brain around it a little bit. Um, they recognize um, whoever this person is that they want to um, reconnect with. And it feels like there's heavy energy of commitment surrounding that that's kind of looming in the distant future um this person is they're literally waiting for a sign from the universe yeah here's your sign right um this strength card energy is someone who's still kind of facing some toxic battles within themselves um the strength card it, it always says that you never have to be strong unless the devil's around somewhere right so this person's still fighting with some toxicities within themselves but there's a message that they're ready to send they just know that once they send that message things are going to change drastically in their lives they're not sure they're ready for it and they're not sure they're open to it yet they're still working that that out within themselves so, so that's a lot that's a lot for anybody to deal with go easy on whoever this person is this is heavy um heavy divine counterpart energy here and it just feels like someone's dealing with a lot of anxiety about this and it feels like the person on the, the, the whoever's on the other end of this um they're hardly even here like i had to really dig to find what their feelings were and the feelings that i got on the other end is this person has um hurt you in some way in the past and so you're like ooh, i don't know about that that you're gonna have to really convince me of that yeah so in any case give each other as much love as you can give each other the space that you need um be thoughtful of one another and be thoughtful of one another's needs and and wants and wishes and always want the best for each other right and um from now on throughout the course of the next year i mean just keep on keeping on and being you and being the best version of you right it's all any of us can do all right much love to you all have a wonderful wonderful day and i will catch up with you soon